What's up guys, my name is Ace, and in today's quick video, I just wanted to answer the question that I've been getting a ton lately, and this is, which game should I be playing if I want to prepare for and practice for Modern Warfare? Like I said, I've seen this asked a ton, and I've seen a wide variety of answers from different people, ranging all the way back to Call of Duty 2 and all the way up to Black Ops 4, with the exception of the Jetpack Call of Duty games. So for a lot of people, this is really confusing. They still don't know which Call of Duty game would be best to prepare for Modern Warfare. So today we're going to be breaking down several characteristics from previous Call of Duty games and matching up the ones that will be most closely related to the gameplay of Modern Warfare. This is going to be based on my experience playing Modern Warfare. I have had a chance to play it early twice now. I played it at the studio back in May and then I was invited out to LA to capture some gameplay footage a few weeks ago now. So I've got a little bit of gameplay experience myself, plus you can just kind of see from watching the gameplay, you can see various characteristics and elements of the gameplay. So let's match them up and find the most similar Call of Duty game. Before we do that though, I just want to mention that really, if you're playing any sort of a first person shooter, it's probably going to be a good enough warm up for anybody to prepare for Modern Warfare. It might not be the most perfect practice and you maybe could do better, but for a lot of people that will be more than enough as long as you stay warmed up and comfortable controlling a character in Call of Duty and aiming and shooting and learning how to navigate a map, then you probably won't have any issues just hopping into Modern Warfare. This video is more so designed for the people that really want to take this super serious and be as prepared as possible to hop in when the beta comes around. So first up, right off the bat, I'm simply going to eliminate any of the Jetpack Call of Duties because those obviously play very different than any sort of boots on the ground Call of Duty. And I'm going to eliminate Treyarch Call of Duties as well. Simple reason for that is map design and character movement is just completely different when it comes to a Treyarch COD. And therefore it just won't translate very well over to Modern Warfare. So this pretty much just leaves us with COD 2, COD 4, or Modern Warfare Remastered, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghosts, and COD World War 2. Now just to narrow this down even more, realistically speaking, the player base for COD 2, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3, they are not going to be that great, so therefore finding lobbies, and especially finding lobbies with a decent connection, is going to be fairly difficult. Same thing goes with COD 4, but we also have Modern Warfare Remastered, which is just the remastered version of COD 4. So COD 4, I would say, is kind of off the table as well, but Modern Warfare Remastered is absolutely on the table. So that just narrows it down to the final three. This would be Modern Warfare Remastered, COD Ghosts, as well as World War II. So let's start going through the key characteristics of a Call of Duty game to find out which one of these three is going to be most comparable to Modern Warfare. First up, Time to Kill. When it comes to Modern Warfare Remastered, stopping power is an absolute crutch. Most people are going to be using stopping power. And as a result, when you factor time to kill with stopping power equipped, it's going to be much, much faster in Modern Warfare Remastered than we will see in Modern Warfare. I guess if you wanted to get somewhat of a feel for what the time to kill will be like in Modern Warfare while playing Modern Warfare Remastered, you could just not use stopping power and maybe use Juggernaut to counteract people that are using stopping power on the other team. That would be a very viable tactic to help you get used to that. But overall, based on what we can tell so far, the closest one of these games when it comes to time to kill to Modern Warfare is actually going to be COD World War II. It looks like it'll take roughly the same number of shots to kill and the ranges are going to be somewhat similar. However, this brings us into the next area that just doesn't align well with COD World War II, and this is map design. The map design in Modern Warfare, at least for like the 6v6 and 10v10 style modes, looks like it's going to be much more comparable to Modern Warfare Remastered or Ghosts. Since map design is a very key element in how you actually approach and play the game, I'm going to say this pretty much eliminates COD World War II as well. And this really just narrows our choice down to Modern Warfare Remastered and Ghosts. Map design wise, based on what we've seen so far, keeping in mind we've only seen a limited set of maps for Modern Warfare at this point, I would say that it's actually a pretty decent blend of COD 4 style maps and COD Ghost style maps. Some of the maps are fairly big and open and they've got a bunch of buildings in them. Other ones are a little bit more linear. And if you look at the map design between Modern Warfare Remastered and Ghosts, both of these games have a lot of similar elements in map design that we will be seeing in Modern Warfare. So I would say they're pretty much tied in that area. And this pretty much just leaves us with our sprint out and aim down sight time. These are very key stats when it comes to the pacing of the game. And this is something that you really want to be practicing as well. Out of anything, when it comes to practicing, the sprint out and aim down sight time are very important. And based on my experience and very limited testing in Modern Warfare so far, even when using the attachments that will help reduce your aim down sight and sprint out time, 
it's quite slow compared to what we've seen in recent years, especially in recent years if you're using the right perks. Now, perhaps things will change even by the beta or after the beta for Modern Warfare, but as it is right now, the sprint out and aim down sight times would be most comparable to Modern Warfare Remastered, or you could also say with Ghosts, however, that is without using the Quick Draw perk and the Ready Up perk. If you do decide to use COD Ghosts to practice for Modern Warfare, make sure you are not using Ready Up or Quick Draw because that won't give you a proper indication of how the sprint out and aim down sight times will feel, although that will also put you at a pretty big disadvantage when you're playing COD Ghosts. And as a result, when looking at all of these factors combined, it looks like Modern Warfare Remastered is probably going to be your best bet to prepare for Modern Warfare. However, like I said, to really get a good feel for that time to kill, I'd recommend swapping out stopping power on all of your classes for Juggernaut. This will force you to hit that extra bullet in most situations, which will be required in Modern Warfare. And also by having Juggernaut, like I said, it will compensate a little bit for the people that are using stopping power, which is going to be most people so that you have a somewhat similar time to die versus time to kill. Now, if you really want to take this to the next level and go super hardcore with your practice and your warm-up for Modern Warfare, I would recommend taking a piece of cardboard or paper or something, tape it to the top left corner of your screen so it covers up your mini-map, and then anytime you earn a UAV, you can just flip that piece of paper up or piece of cardboard, flip it up so you can see your radar, and continue from there. It might be very annoying to do. It's much easier if you play on a monitor rather than a TV. But this will help simulate not having a minimap in Modern Warfare by default. You will have to be earning it through streaks. Yes, you will end up being at a pretty big disadvantage compared to everyone that does have a minimap, since everyone else will have a minimap at all times. But at the end of the day, when it comes to Modern Warfare as well, you never know when somebody has a personal radar up or a UAV up anyways. So there you have it. In my opinion, the best method for practicing for Modern Warfare, if you really want to stay true to that gameplay style, play Modern Warfare Remastered, swap stopping power for Juggernaut on all of your classes, and if you want to take it to that next level, cover up your minimap when you don't have a UAV active. Now, having said this, like I said, you could also use COD Ghosts as a pretty good warm-up tool as well. However, just make sure you're not using the Ready Up or the Quick Draw perks because that will give you a completely different feel over your character, and that will end up making you far too confident with rushing in Modern Warfare because you really won't be able to do that in this game, at least in the state that we played in. You will have to practice being much more conservative with your playstyle. You're going to have to slow down a lot, especially if you've been playing Black Ops 4 a lot, for instance. You're going to have to slow down quite a bit if you want proper practice for Modern Warfare. But with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys agree with me? Do you think Modern Warfare Remastered would be your best bet to practice for Modern Warfare? Or do you think there's a different game that would be better to practice for Modern Warfare? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.